In this video, we're taking a drive down the high street in Gloucester, which sits just outside of the city centre and is a bit of a hotspot for antisocial behaviour and crime. It's an interesting multicultural area and you'll see mostly a mix of flats and apartments with some houses and local businesses, as well as a few random things. Looking at the crime stats for the area, last month there were 867 reported crimes in and around High Street. So that makes it one of the most crime-ridden areas in Gloucester and possibly the entire country. This pie chart shows you that the vast majority of crimes are serious assaults, with antisocial behaviour not far behind, and then a litany of other crimes that you don't want to be on the receiving end of. That's pretty impressive for such a short street and a fairly small area. As I pulled in to give this oncoming car plenty of room to pass, it decided to just mount the pavement and go round me anyway. This shop here has made headlines numerous times for all the wrong reasons. It seems to get done over on a regular basis. I wanted to find a core fact for you, and the best I could come up with was that the Saxons have played live in one of the pubs on High Street at some point. I wish I could have found a more interesting fact, but it is what it is. As we came to the end of the road and decided to turn around in a parallel street to head back. Okay. And yep, yeah, that's a bath sitting up against the wall there. If you want to buy a property on High Street, which I'm not sure why you would, but you might do, properties went for an average of 122,000 last year, with the majority of those sales being flats and apartments. I'm sure some of which were HMOs as well. The prices are falling year on year, so it's a pretty good time to buy. As we were driving back up the street, we couldn't help but notice a burned out house. So we got to wondering, what do you think happened to this house? Did the occupier leave a lit blunt next to the bed? Was it bombed by a rival gang over some sort of turf war? Do you think it's an insurance job? Or maybe a dragon did it? Answers in the comments below, please. As we leave, it'd be rude not to shout out a couple of the local businesses. If you're after Halal Meads, I recommend checking out British Halal Meats. And if you want a cheeky pint whilst you're down here, why not drop in at the Plough Inn? Both of these businesses have some pretty good ratings on Google. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed the video. I would like to see more of the UK's finest locations. Thanks, and we'll see you again.